Hi, I'm Dr. Tidell, and I'm going to be your professor for the lecture portion of Anatomy and Physiology 120 for Fall 22. And one of the things I want you to know how to do is how to access and use your Canvas page at Cerritos College for this particular course. Um, I've got two Canvas pages. You will have two Canvas pages for AP 120. You'll have one for lecture. That's what I'm talking about now. And you'll have one for lab. Okay, so we're going to have a tour of your Canvas shell. They call them shells. Um, a couple of things. First of all, Canvas is usually only available for registered students, but for AP 120, if you're waitlisted, it's really important for you to keep on top of things for these first two weeks. So to have any chance of adding AP 120, yeah, you've got work to do. So um, I've offered temporary access to all of the waitlisted students. Uh, if you have access to Canvas and you're on the wait list, it does not mean you've been added, okay? But if you are waitlisted, go into your email, look for an email that is an invitation to join the course and say yes, okay? Uh, once you get access to the course, the way you navigate in is you use, as your username, you use your seven digit student number. Most of you do have seven digit student numbers. They start with a one or a two. If you've got an older number, like let's say you were enrolled a while ago and you're coming back, um, and it starts with like, I don't know, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine, then you, in order to make it seven digits long, you need to put a zero at the beginning. Uh, your password, your password has already been set for you, and it is your eight-digit birthday. So if you were born on the Cinco de Mayo in 1987, your password would be 0505 for May, and then the 5th of May, and then 1987, all right? Easy to do. Okay, now your Canvas lecture shell. Your Canvas lecture shell, that last slide was not quite right. Um, that's from last semester. Uh, your Canvas lecture shell looks like this. This is exactly what it looks like, all right? Um, and a couple of things. Thing one is we will not be taking any exams online. That's not happening, all right? There is one quiz you need to take online and you will need to use Proctorio for that. And by this point in your lives, you are very familiar with Proctorio. If you're not, catch me after the one of the first two lectures that I will see you in person. But otherwise, your lecture shell looks like this. Um, and it is divided up into modules. Let me pause for a second here and go to your actual Canvas page. Here, nope, that's the lab, your Canvas lecture page, and I'll show you how it works, okay? So there is a lot of information and a lot of study aids for you on the Canvas uh, lecture page. Let's start with reading the Canvas lecture page. I've got a video here about how to study more effectively. I made it mm, last semester for a different course, so ignore the stuff about you've already taken an exam, uh, but I think it's got good advice for how to study more effectively, all right? Uh, you have got an undergrad tutor that gives free tutoring help through Zoom. Her name is Jane, she is awesome and she will be holding free tutoring hours for you to drop into by Zoom. Uh, initially, I think you will be able to get into, let's see, pen, red, okay? Uh, right here in, oops, Tech Connect Zoom is how you will find her Zoom hours. Um, if something changes, uh, I will do my best to email you or announce that in lecture. OK, each lab section also has a TA. All right. And those lab TAs will also hold just one hour of free tutoring every week to help you out. All right. So use the free tutors. I also wanted to let you know that. How do I? Oh, there we go. I also wanted to let you know that I am in my office. My office number is S115. Uh, S115 is between uh, the 
the public restrooms in the science building and where your lab is. So when you're walking from the area where the public restrooms are to your lab, S129, you will walk right past my office on the right-hand side. So it's S115 and I will be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from 11 to noon. You do not need an appointment, feel free to drop by, okay? The first week or two, it's really busy. After the first week or two, it tends to be rather quiet, right? Now, what's really important here? I don't, I don't want the pen anymore. I want, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here are the modules, right? I've divided the course up into modules. There are five modules. The first module is going to look a little bit different by the time you see it, is the syllabus quiz. And the syllabus quiz is due this Friday, Friday, August 19th, all right? Um, and you will access the syllabus quiz right here. The syllabus quiz, you need to use Proctorio, um, and you should know how to use Proctorio by now. But once you access the syllabus quiz, if you do not have Proctorio, there will be like a big warning red sign here that says, oh, you need an access code. You don't need an access code, okay? Do you see the stuff that I've highlighted in yellow? You must use the Chrome browser. You know, there are different browsers for accessing the internet, right? There's, there's I don't know, Firefox, there's Chrome, there's, there are different browsers. Yeah, I don't. Yahoo, is that a browser? Anyway, so first of all, you have to use a Chrome browser. The second thing is you need to go to this thing, getproctorio.com, and you need to put the Proctorio extension onto your browser, all right? It is not downloading software, and as soon as you're done taking your syllabus quiz, you are free to remove the um, browser uh, I'm sorry, the extension from your browser, uh, you just need it for this syllabus quiz, okay? So you need to do this, and this is so I know that you've gotten the syllabus, that you've looked at the syllabus, and that you know how to, how to run AP120 from the syllabus, okay? Let's go back to modules, though. After that, there's a module for each of our four exams. Exam one is going to be Monday on uh, September 12th, chapters one through five, that's right. Uh, exam two is October 10th, exam three, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right. Now what else, okay? Um, on each one of these modules for one of the four exams, there is a study guide, it's gonna sit right there, okay? If you click on that link, it's gonna take you to the study guide. You can download it, you can print it out, you will be um, at your study guide. I highly recommend that you use the study guide, um, and I'll probably talk about that a little bit more on the first day of lecture. Okay, let's go back to the course modules. What else is in a module? What else is in a module? Uh, in AP 120, 10% of the points for AP 120 for your total grade are these things called connect assignments. I have got a, a couple of videos on how to register for Connect and how to complete your Connect homework. You should watch those. Um, and then you need to co uh, complete your Connect homework the day before your exam. Okay, so from you, you have our first exam is September 12th. You have until midnight on September 11th to complete these five Connect assignments. Where are the Connect assignments? They are basically reading the relevant chapters of your textbook and proving that you've read them by answering questions on the chapters of your textbook. We all know we're supposed to be reading our textbook, right? We all know that. Do we do it? Sometimes not, right? Here, you actually get 10% of the course's points just for reading the chapters and doing the homework. That's pretty good. How often do you get paid points for studying? What's the rest of this stuff? The rest of this stuff is just my recorded lectures from back when we were still virtual. We're not virtual anymore. You will be seeing me live. You are mandated to attend, okay? Uh, you only get a certain number of absences. So, uh, but 
it's kind of nice to be able to go back and let's do this one. Chemistry lecture number two. Oh, here I am talking chemistry. Oh, let's see me watching me in me. These are all videos that are up on YouTube. We and left off here. There we and, go. Uh, my but drawings weren't working. There I am. Okay. We were talking about <laughs> hydrogen ions. All right. Oh, now I got to stop all of this. To make, okay. There will be times, of course, when you're like, man, I heard her say something, but it didn't make any sense to me. I wish I could rewind what she just said. Well, first of all, you're always welcome to stop me and ask me to rephrase what I just said. But isn't it nice that when you get home and you're like, I really don't understand something, you can watch me say it again. So that is found here in the course module. Also found in the course module, I've got some videos by a guy named Hank Green who does crash course videos. I think the crash course videos, they're very short. Um, and I think they're very on point. Some people love them. Some people think he talks way too fast. Uh, I like Amoeba Sisters. Uh, you'll see an Amoeba Sisters video right here. Oh, and Amoeba Sisters is very friendly and she's got cartoon characters. And yeah, I like Amoeba Sisters, but again. Now, do you have to watch these? Absolutely not. You don't have to watch any of these videos. All of these videos are just videos of me, and they're me saying basically exactly the same stuff I will be saying live in lecture every week. But they are available to you in case you would like to go back and review something. Oh, one of the things you can do with my lecture videos is just listen to them. They're available through your phone. So if you are, I don't know, driving carpool for your kid's sister, or you're waiting in the line to get your driver's license and it's really boring, you can listen to me or watch them on your cell phone, right? Uh, what about when you're folding clothes, uh, doing the laundry, doing dishes, doing things like that? you can be listening to the lectures, all right? Here is the link to doing that Connect homework that I talked about. It hasn't opened yet. Um, it's not gonna open until August 11th. Probably by the time you're watching this, it is open. Uh, but uh, the link to do that 10% of your course points by studying, doing the Connect homework, that's available to you. This in bright red and bold in the center, that is the Connect Help Desk. If you have problems doing your Connect homework, I am not your resource. I don't run Connect, okay? Uh, but this Help Desk number um, is very useful. Um, it's not, I don't think the Connect Help Desk phone number is 24 seven, but when it is live, it's actually very useful. Um, and if you have trouble, you can drop in during my office hours in my office, which are which are, um, sorry, pen, which are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday uh, from 11 until noon. And I will try to help you solve your problem. All right. Uh, what else is here? There's a link to the study guides. Um, so if you're like, I just want to know her study guides, um, the study guides will be there. Okay. Um, there is a link to the syllabus and to the lecture schedule. That's going to be there. There's a link to the PowerPoint slides. Uh, some people like to be able to print out my PowerPoint slides before they come to lecture. And those are all available here, one through five. So that is something that you can go. Here's a little uh, PDF about how to email your professor. By the way, how to email your professor? No one teaches us the kind of um, manners that are expected of us, particularly by crotchety old professors like yours truly, okay? So it's very possible that you are sending an email that none of your classmates would find rude and you are offending your professor, okay? And how would you know? You don't know until your professor sends you back something snarky. Let's not do that, okay? Here's just a nice little PDF about how to email your professor. By the way, how to email your professor, 
pretty good advice for how to email your boss or how to email uh, someone where you want to get an internship at the company, right? Just don't wing it because it's not obvious that you're offending people um, when you email. For example, I use way too many emojis. Yeah, I just do. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else? The Anatomy Model website. Um, this is not relevant really to the lecture. It's relevant to the lab, but I put it here just in case your lab professor doesn't. And uh, pretty soon, you're, it's not very useful until you get past the bones. I got to admit, but once you get past the bones and you're here in muscles, here are images of the models you will be looking at in lab. And you can click on that and it'll tell you that's the biceps brachii. I know that's not the right way to say it. it's the biceps rocky or something like that. The triceps brachii. Okay. So that link is also available right here. All right. Okay, there's so much here. Now, um, over here on the right-hand side, it does alert you to deadlines. Um, but let me just tell you this right now. If you miss a deadline because it wasn't on this list, that's on you, not on me. I will hold you responsible for all of the deadlines that are in the course syllabus and that I tell you about during lecture. So take notes. Put them in your calendar. Your smartphones, as I probably will say in lecture, want you to fail. So trick them by using them to do your Connect homework. Um, uh, trick them by, trick your phone by listening to my videos on them. Trick your phone by putting into the little calendar app that's on everyone's phone uh, all of the deadlines that you need. All right, let's go back here. Let's see how we're doing. There we go. All righty. And remember, I really want you to succeed in this class. You will not be able to succeed in this class by procrastinating. The volume of material that you need to know on September 12th, you cannot learn it in one day. You cannot learn it in two days. I mean, unless you're some sort of like, I don't know, brilliant memorizing genius or something like that. So don't procrastinate. You're going to be coming to all of the lectures, do all of the connect homework a little bit at a time. If you do the connect homework before we're done with that particular module, everything will dovetail together and it will make earning the grade you want to earn in AP 120 so much easier. Um, and I will, the next thing you should do is look for how to register for Connect, that video, and how to complete your homework, okay? I'll see you in lecture.